I haven't been over to Monday's house in a while. Hey, girl. We've been able to be cool when the group is around, but meeting one-on-one, -on -one, this is bull <laughs> Something is up. Good. This must be a good conversation. We drinking. Um, actually, I think it's a wonderful conversation. But we was at the lake. You know, everything was going fine, and then you popped a question on me about, you don't think I'm a real person. Like, you made me feel like I don't fit in. Money, have you ever got tested? No, I ain't go yet. You just gonna go around and just say that you a little person. You ain't even no little person. You're just short. It just really bothered me, you know, because it made me feel like, wow, I'm an outsider. Hello? Now you don't have nothing to say. I mean, I have plenty to say, but it's just like, not, I'm not just pointing you out like, oh, That's let me I go feel. against money. I have a I was issue. the only one you called out at the I, table. OK, because everybody at the table know what right. type so of why little you, person So you don't that mean you're pointing me out? Yes, because everybody should know what type of little person they are. This is a bunch of bullshit. Minnie's been looking to pick a fight with me ever since I called her about the miscarriage and I asked Juicy to be my maid of honor. So what I did is I went to, you know, I went to a doctor to get tested and he said that based on the measurements of my trunk, I do have a dwarfism, but he doesn't know what type until my blood work come back. So he said that you have a dwarfism, but he don't know what type, like. Money's not saying much. She don't even know what type of dwarfism she even has. But whatever, I am so over this. I want to thank you for calling me over here and clearing it up. Look like Minnie ain't got nothing to say now that she knows she wrong. But guess what? That's what I thought. I'm just over it. I wash my hands. And I got stuff to do. I got clients at the salon waiting on me. So I got to go. Fine, money. You have door fence. But it still don't change the fact that it took all this time and me calling you out to finally get tested. And I hope you have a, a great day. Sure. Bye. I'm gonna pull over so I can actually talk to you. Emily's still in Dallas with JJ, and the last time I talked to her, he was about to get his trach surgery. So this time, I hope she's calling me with good news. How did everything go? Went good. Within 45 minutes, he was waking up. Within an hour, he was completely awake, his arms were moving, and he was breathing on his own. And was like, he's not supposed to be breathing on his own this fast. Like, he's like doing too much. Like, he's like ridiculous. <laughs> I know he would be strong. I'm so relieved to hear that JJ's surgery went well and he's breathing on his own. And now that they see how good he's doing, when will he be released? It's gonna be three or four weeks. I was like, thank goodness. How are you feeling? I actually feel good. I was really nervous, but I'm just like, I'm really excited because now you see come home. Mm -hmm. We're on the right path. Like, not the path I wanted to take, but I don't even care as long as my kid can come home. He had a little bumps in the road at first, but now he seems like he's on the right track. That was it. That was the last, last big bump I've hoping for a long time. It's really hard for me to be away from Emily and knowing that she's going through all this and I'm not there physically beside her. I really wish I was there with you guys. Me and me. Yeah. Michelle. It's so nice. come visit now and see. Definitely do. Okay, I'm gonna go, okay? All right. Bye. I love I you love guys. You. We miss you. I'll text you later. All right, bye. Bye. Hey, girls. Hi. Welcome to Play Hard. Do you Hi. have an appointment with Josh? Yes, this I'm Manny. Him. Hey, Manny, how are you? Fine. Great, and this is Amanda, is that right? Yes. Awesome. I'm going to meet you both in the middle of the room to get our warm-up going. Sound good? Okay. Now that me and Pastor Troy are over, I want to get back out and start dating. I got to keep this figure looking right. So I invited Amanda out to the gym. I just need to start getting fit. Like, I'm getting older. I, I need somebody. And I'm ready to start a family. I think I ain't going to work out with you and Pastor Troy or anything like that, you know? Right. He ain't good for you. I just want to find a guy that like me for me and mm -hmm. I can see myself spending the rest of my life with. Yeah. 
There's plenty of guys out there, girl. You know, Pastor Strang is the only one. All right. You can find someone better. He's out there somewhere. Being single for the past few months hasn't been easy for me, but I'm ready to move on and get back out there and think about my future. So what we're gonna do is side shuffle down, we're gonna tap the floor and side shuffle back. Go. Go, go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on, Minnie, she gets you. Uh-oh, Minnie didn't go to the white line. Oh. Three, two, and one. All right, so next, front kick. I got this, bitch. You got this one? I used to be a cheerleader. You used to be a cheerleader? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. In high school, I was a cheerleader for the Brainerd Panthers. I would love to get back to that size. All right, so if you were a cheerleader, we're going to get that cheerleader body back, right? Yes. It's got, uh, uh, uh. It's got heavy. OK, do you, you want to change it? No, no, I can do this. You got it. Being a little person, working out is more challenging because we have to be careful not to overdo it. Look at her, what's she been up to? How's your sissy? She's doing okay. You know, I'm gonna go talk to her. And Chris had answered. He had told me that Angela needed some rest or whatever. Like, basically, like, you didn't want me in there, like, in, in the apartment. Girl, he was blocking the door like this. The other day, when I went to visit my sister, her boyfriend, Chris, tried to kick me out. No one can tell me that, you know, I can't see my sister, so. I can't let you go in there like that, you know what I mean? I'm telling you, like, this, this is our house, this is our little family. So you're telling me I can't see my sister? I feel like Chris is trying to turn Andrea against me because he knows that I don't like him. Andrea needs to snap out of it because we are sisters and she's going to need me when Aubrey is born. Why is he acting like this? Girl, no. And then so then I walked in there and then and just she was there laying like laying in the bed or whatever. And she told me that I cannot be in the living room with her. Wow. Yeah. She's taking this to a whole nother level. I was crying, girl, because I hurt my face. I bet. The fact that I can't be in the same room when my niece is born really breaks my heart. I don't know why Andrea's acting like this, but I'm gonna give her some space and hope that she comes to her senses. I'm sorry that you're going through this. I'm glad I'm here with you so we can work out together. Hey, hey, hey. how are you? Hey, guys. How are you doing? It's nice to see you walking around hey. instead of laid up in the hospital, huh? Yeah. I'm here for my 32-week checkup. My contractions keep happening at random times, and no one is sure why. I'm nervous to find out how Aubrey's doing, but I have been feeling her kick. So I'm hopeful everything is fine. How's your sister doing? She's doing good. Good. She didn't want to join the fun today, huh? No. Chris is the only one I need right now. I'm so over Amanda trying to involve herself in my business. That's why until she backs off with all this I can't have her around when I give birth. Hey, Look at this happening? gorgeous baby. It's about four pounds and seven ounces. Hi, hey. doctor. Hey, doctor. Okay, what's, what's happening? Going? I have a question. Okay, so why am I having all these contractions? Oh, uh, the reason for it is not clear. Part of it, maybe, is because you're smaller and the baby's taking up more space, it may be sending signals earlier that it wants to get out. We're a little nervous about you going into labor. When we're electively picking a date, we usually pick somewhere around 38 to 39 weeks. Uh, I just don't think you're gonna make it that far. I'm never the always fighting with Amanda can put Aubrey at risk. I need to keep my space for me and my baby. We want you to stay pregnant as long as possible. You gotta give us a little more time. So I will see you in two weeks, hopefully. confronting Minnie about the whole dwarfism thing, I can focus on some more positive things. So I have some exciting news to share with my girl Amanda. If she ever can park this damn car. Girl, my butt is all the way out. Oh, well, it's twerking. <laughs> There's been a divide in our group lately, and even though Minnie is our mama bear, I'm still friends with Money, and I want to spend time with her. Latte. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Much. <laughs> so how's everything going, girl? Everything is good. I mean, I'm just nervous because 
I met this girl and she was telling me about an audition. Mm -hmm. I've been taking classes for the past year because I want to be a professional voiceover artist. I got this voiceover audition with one of the famous animation producers and I am so nervous. And this guy, you know, he's real serious about his work. I can't go in now, you know, playing. Mm -hmm. I gotta really show him because yeah. it's that one time, if I mess up, that can be just it. So I've been nervous about that, making sure that I pronunciate each word because this is very harder than what I thought it was. Yeah. I had jobs over the years, but I never had a career. What you gonna have me doing? Sweep all this hair. Oh my goodness. I really wanna make this happen. Cause I gotta provide for my son D2. You wanna make that big money, right? I do. I I want to make the big money. I want to make sure so D2 can be good and, you know, we can all sit back and just sip tea all day. <laughs> <laughs> Today I'm meeting up with two of my friends, Charity and Hope, their sisters and their twins. As if little people weren't rare enough, now we have two sets of identical twins. I've been friends with these girls forever. Come on, baby. We ain't got all day. Dad, what the hell? Hey. 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 What's going on? Hey. 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 I haven't seen y'all in forever. I knew these girls back when we was in Texas. You want me to break it? Yes, you break it. When we were younger, we used to party and get all the boys to buy us drinks and then ditch them at the end of the night. Well, not all of them. <laughs> Y'all making me nervous. Come on. It's been a while, but I remember these girls always beating me at pool. But that ain't saying much. Pool is hard for little people. Woo, what is going on with me? <laughs> you know we what? Drink. <laughs> Just wait. I get a few more drinks in me. I'll be better. I got this. Girl, I am so glad you're here. We got so much going on. Too much on. stuff going on. I need to really relieve some stress. That's why we have a party, party coming uh -huh. on a boat. A uh, boat party? Yeah. And see, we called you because we know that you know a lot of everybody. People. OK, as long as you got, <laughs> long as you got my Moscato, we good, we good. So you know any good people coming? I'm gonna tell my homegirl, Left Cheek, Amanda. Okay. Uh -huh. She's one of the tiny twins. Another set of twins. Oh, yeah, another set of twins. Oh, baby, we got all three twins. Yeah, so we also have money. What? Did we hear something about her? She's from Houston, right? Yep. Money? Yep, that's her. her. Her name all over the streets now right. in Houston. You make sure you bring her to the party. We want to make sure that's who yeah, we were talking to this talk. It's a small world for little people. Everybody know each other. All I got to say, it better not be no drama. I'm not, we're going to talk. OK. We're going to talk. Well, there won't be no drama then if you're going to talk. We're going to talk. What's their beef with money? Can't we just all get along? <laughs> Damn! Bye bye to the queen. Bye bye to the queen. Bye bye to the queen. All right. Money, this is our executive producer, Charles West. Hey, Money, how you doing? A friend from class helped me get a voiceover audition. I'm really nervous, but I know if I want to do voiceover professionally, I got to get used to it. You're here today to audition for our animation project, and you're going to be auditioning for the Ladybug. OK. Come on, let's get started. I want to see all this. Right. I wasn't expecting to be in front of all these people watching me. I'm so nervous right now. Um. I can't see her. This is not going to work. Money? Sir? I can't see you. Do you mind me? No, 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 no. Story of my life. Right, come <laughs> on, come on. All right, so. OK, guys. Let's start with Ladybug 1. Well, it does beat watching the pig slop all day. That was a little country, baby. Well, it does beat watching the pig slop all day. But don't, don't make it country. OK. Well. It does beat watching the pig slop all day. Uh, come on back in. OK. OK. I 
I'm working so hard to get this right, and I will be devastated if they don't like me. Are you crying? What's wrong? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Because I don't want Because I'm like so country. I'm country. But this is the time for you to be free. Okay. Okay? That's what animation allows you to do. You can be whatever you want to be. Being in this business, mm -hmm. it's hard. It's not easy. You have to have a tough skin. Okay. Damn. I just got to get it together right now and put my mind to it. I know I can do this because I'll be damned if I ain't going to be that ladybug. Let's do this. Well, it does beat watching the pigs all day. It does beat watching the pigs slop all day. OK, that's, that's better. better. That's better. That's better. Yeah. All right, money, one last time, OK? OK. Make this count. This is for the money. All right. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it does be watching the pig slop all day. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Way better. Yeah. Way better. Yeah. Way better. I can't believe Mr. West gave me a second chance to do better. But I'm so thankful. And I'm hoping I get this part. I appreciate you. And I'll take a look at all the notes and make my decision soon. What's up, girl? Waiting on my next client. You got a long day? Yeah. A long day, long money, right? OK. <laughs> you really get to know your coworkers when you're working in the salon. Miss Paula is the owner. I've been knowing her for many years now. So I want to talk to her to see if she knows anyone that she can set me up with. What you been up to? I ain't been doing nothing. Like, I just been taking it easy. But I want to start dating. Oh. Get out there. That's what's up. After being with Pastor Troy, it made me realize that I need a nice guy. So I'm trying to put myself out there to meet new people. I want you to ride me on your bike. I got you. You like them drugs and them tattoos, girl? I I need to find me a man that's not a player, but still likes to have fun. You need to start dating, girl. I be having a lot of people ask me about you, so. <laughs> you got to be blessed. <laughs> might have some friends to hook you up oh, with. Oh, Lord. No, right. Nothing wrong with a little blind date oh, I've never been on a blind date. You've never been on a blind date? Oh, my God. Would you be opposed to dating a little man? No, I cannot date a little man. I can't. What? I'm sorry. They got to be tall. Okay. They can't be short. <laughs> well, that's not going to be very hard. <laughs> you <laughs> have you ever dated a little man? No. That's discriminating. That is not discriminating. That is discriminating. That is You're so You're a little funny. woman, you should at least give it a go. I can't. That may sound weird because I'm little, but I just can't. I don't want to date a little person because I was bullied as a child, and it hurt. And a tall man can be my security guard. You want to know, I mean, it, it depends on who sets you up with the blind right. eye. Now, I'm, I'll pre-screen them and make sure it's not a weirdo, right. That's you true. know? So we'll do it like that. But that's Cause you know fun. you got these guys out now that, like, it's a fetish to be with yeah, a little person. Exactly. And you gotta, yeah. never know. I have this wall up, because I'm like, are you wanting me, or are you just want me because I'm little, you know? Right. I know a creepy guy when I see him, because he start asking questions like, can I flip you up in the air? Can I just do some things to you? And I'm not into all that. It's just annoying. Some men like a little woman. It may not be a bad thing. Right, you right. just might have a preference for a little woman, because I think y'all got some secrets going on that us <laughs> average women don't know about. <laughs> like, y'all don't have no secret compartments that we don't have to. <laughs> No, but I'm gonna help you out because I got some ideas. Me too. All right, ladies. All right. Thank you for the conversation. Okay. Thank you for the advice and keep me in mind. When you... I got you. Thank you. Okay, girl. girl, I'm glad you decided to come with me. Yeah, I need a new bathing suit. So this is the best place to come. I invited all the girls to Hope and Charity boat party. Now we gotta look good for it. So, we're gonna shop for your new bathing suit. What kind would you like? Two piece. But you need a sex one. You know, like a dental floss kind. Dental floss, like at my butt? Girl, you got ass. You're supposed to show it. Girl, I can't stand myself. <laughs> you and everybody else know I look good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
while you try your outfits on, I'm gonna sit here and drink my champagne. I'll be back. Okay. I cannot wait to go on the boat with my girls. We can all use some fun together. Oh, look at you, girl! Yes! You got a little bit of the right cheek out and a little bit of the left cheek. <laughs> Bikinis fit little people just the same as they fit average height people. Okay, see if you can dance in it. So, the true test on trying on a new bikini is if I can twerk in it. Twerk, 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 eh, get on back in there. <laughs> I can't have anything falling out if I'm trying to shake it. So give me these details about this boat party. Well, girl, my friends Hope and Charity, and they invited me to this boat party. So they told me to invite all my friends. Are you inviting Minnie and Money? Of course. So everybody's going to be on the boat. Everybody's going to be on the boat. Our group of girls haven't been getting along lately, and now we're all going to get on a boat together. We're going to have a good time. The turn up is going to be real. I just hope nobody gets their ass thrown overboard. Woo! Ooh! I like that. I do, too. You ready for the boat party? Yes. You ready to cause some trouble? Maybe a little bit. You ready to get started? <laughs> That's what? all you. <laughs> Hello. Hey, how are y'all? Hey, I'm Money, and I'm here to see Mr. West. Okay. I got a call from Charles, the producer of my voiceover audition for the TV series Nubbin and Friends. He asked me to come to his office, so I brought Amanda along for some support. This is it. Thank you so much for coming. You're very welcome, girl. girl. You know, I'm here, I'm here to support you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Good morning here at the work. Yeah. And I was like, man, I know I was nervous. Don't be nervous. You got this, okay? Hey, girls. Yes. Are you ready to see Mr. West? Oh, yes, ma'am. Okay, follow me. Good luck, girl. Thank you. You're welcome. I want this so bad. My whole life will change if I get this part. Hey, hey Mr. West. How, How you doing, doing sweetie? I'm good. Well, I wanted to bring you down and uh, talk to you about the audition, talking it over with the producers, and they feel like uh, you haven't done it before. And, you know, it's like taking a risk. Um, everybody loved your voice, but it felt like you didn't have enough experience. Right. For me, being the executive producer, I kind of overruled that. You got the part. You are the ladybug in Nubbin and Friends, the TV series. Thank you so much. I was just speechless, because... It's all right. It's all right. I know it's emotional. You're going to be in a project with all these big names, and you're right there with them. You deserve that. OK? Well, it's, this is like a dream of, of mine. This is something that, like, this is my passion. I mean, I was trying so hard. And this is a positive project, so I just feel like it's just a win, win, and win. I'm so thankful for Charles for seeing something in me, and I'm gonna do whatever it takes not to let him down. Take the script home, work on it. We're gonna set up something with you going to the studio with us, and we're gonna lay it down, and you're gonna see your character animated real soon. Wow. I can't wait. Thank you so much. All right, thank you, sweetie. Okay. So what have you got to tell me? What the? I got it. You got it? Yes. Oh my god, I'm so Thank excited you so much for being here. Oh my You're god. Very welcome, girl. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to tell mom. I'm bad, girl. Give me a drink to this. <laughs> girl, let me get out of here. Oh, oh my god. god. So excited. My boss, Miss Paula, is setting me up on a blind date. I don't know anything about him, but I think it's time to put past Trump behind me. I made it a double date with Amanda and Jordan, just in case he turns out to be a weirdo. They always have my back. I'm nervous. I ain't never been this nervous in God knows how long. Girl, I'm nervous as well. You know my list is up there. Like, gotta be tall, dark skin. He can be light skin. He's the one that should be very nervous because you're very beautiful. Minnie hasn't had a lot of luck dating. She's been pretty picky. She needs to open herself up a little. So you don't know nothing. No. Nothing. Nothing. What is that, Tim? <laughs> hey, you can't judge, girl. I know. We are little people. <laughs> I'm laughing because Miss Paula knew 
I never dated a little person. Hey, are you Millie? Yes. I'm Joe. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> she had some tricks up her sleeve. So would this be the first time that you, you know, have a date with a little person? Yeah, this would be the first time. Yeah. Yeah. This is my first time. No, it's your first time. Yeah, so we version. <laughs> <laughs> so what you do for a living? I'm, I'm a, I work for a credit card processing company. What about you? I'm a hairstylist. Oh, OK. Yeah. <laughs> Shampoo is set. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of the chit chat. Let's go play golf. OK. Oh! Let me roll these sleeves up. Oh, it's about to get serious. Oh. Hey, farther than you. <laughs> the green one, there it is. Move, babe, I don't want to. What if this thing swings? Go, go, go. <laughs> wow, you did a great job, bro. Babe, you're yeah. supposed to help me. You're I did. So close. Oh, <laughs> okay. I give up, girl. I'm tired. Come on, sit down. I'm dying to know what Minnie thinks about Joe. I like the dude. He seems pretty cool. He's goofy, but he seems like a lot of fun. So how are you feeling about him? I'm really open, like, for real. I like him for you. I do too. So. It's something different. Well, Juicy invited us to a boat party this week. You should bring him along. OK. If he's up to it, I look. You look good. Oh. Hey, so friends of mine got a party on the boat, so I wanted to invite you to come. Oh, what you doing Sunday? I have plans to go to my buddy's lake house. I mean, I'm kind of disappointed that Joe said that he has plans. I don't know if he has plans or he's just not into me. He has plans. I just want to see you happy, you know? It's a good evening. Yeah. Ready, girl? is the place to go here in Atlanta for the summertime. If you are somebody in Atlanta, that's where we go to get crazy and party. Hey! 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 These girls are crazy and know how to throw a party. I love the boat. They thought of everything, even the little wine bottles for us little women. Let's make a toast to y'all meeting the new girls, you know. You better right. watch out, though. All right, then. You better Lou. watch out. I know you guys are going to enjoy them, for real. Uh-huh. Okay. I got to meet the meet them. Mm-hmm. All right. There's another set of tiny twins, but they're tinier. Too bad Anjad didn't come on the boat today to see this. Her doctor said she needs to stay home to stay on bed rest. I'm so glad you guys came to the party. It's awesome to see you guys. All right, so let's get this party started. Okay. okay. Uh, we'll make some mimosa for everybody. Oh, oh Jesus. Shots. Okay, I need a shot. Now, if I take two shots, you take two shots? Oh. No, I'm not falling off of the boat. <laughs> I don't want to get too wasted too early. For us little people, it takes half the alcohol to get us wasted. I want the shot. Yeah! yeah we do. That ain't no shot. Oh, oh, hell no. That's more of a knockout. I need a chaser. These glasses tall as us, he's come on take a shot. The whole thing? You got to chug a little. Nice. Nice. Oh. 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 Hey, y'all want to take another one? No, when I get tipsy, I know how to sit down. <laughs> you see me sitting down a lot of them on little tips. When you hear me telling my business. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. what a shot I said, honey. <laughs> see, I love to see. At first, these girls caught me off guard by looking like gremlins and <laughs> But once I got to know them, they seem pretty cool. When you see me laughing and smiling a lot, <laughs> that mean I'm still <laughs> sick. And then sometimes I cry. I'll be crying. I'll be like, that means your ass be drunk oh, all the no. time. <laughs> Hello, y'all. Hey. I'm Captain Mike. Welcome to the Bayou Bell. Hey. Were you having a good time today? Yeah. Are you guys ready to go? Yeah. 
Hang on for dear life, we're gonna take off. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh. <laughs> I just found a mother sun deck up top. Y'all just follow me. Woo! And it's a little, it's kind of tight squeeze through here, so y'all watch yourself. Like <laughs> oh, no. I can't believe I have to squeeze through this railing just to get a better seat. Yeah. I didn't sign up for this Welcome to the mansion. Welcome to the mansion. Man, when y'all get up here, y'all gonna see what I'm talking about. <gasps> you know, love yeah. that ass in the circle. Now this is what I'm talking about. Now the party really can get started. Uh oh, I have You about that? We don't do ways that be. Hey, we got up. I don't know if it's the booze talking, but I can get used to this life. Party on the boat all day. Sign Miss Minnie up. Now that we worked up all this sweat with this twerking, we need to move this to the water. You next, Manny? No, the f I'm not. I ain't got nobody to hold on to. You can hold on to the life jacket, Manny. Life jacket, water, Lake Lanier, I don't care, no. Yeah, you just backflip, Manny. No, I'm not jumping in. I'm not jumping in. Down, down, hey, I'm not jumping in. Money's acting like a bitch. I sure ain't about to do no damn backflip off this boat. So you can back the hell up, Money. Three, two, one. Wait, 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 wait. I am not about that lake life. Ain't no telling what's in that damn water. I am not about to be some alligator's afternoon snack. Where the f am I going? Bye, y'all! <laughs> stop! 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 Mother stop. I don't care. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, kids. I'm sorry. Last time I was on the water on the tube, I got dumped. And I will be pissed if it happened again. This hair is not supposed to get wet. Bud, <laughs> it's too damn hot out here for me. I'm getting dizzy. I'm getting really, really sick. I'm getting dizzy. Oh, y'all, I'm finna pass out. I don't know if I'm seasick. All of a sudden, I'm getting dizzy. It's too hot out here. <laughs> I'm gonna pass out. I'm getting really, really sick. <laughs> I've gotten sick like this before. I'm very sensitive to extreme temperatures. You okay? <laughs> you know I was sick. I done took my damn crown off. Look what I'm crying your back, baby. There you go. Atlanta in the summertime is no joke. They don't call it hot Atlanta for nothing. Are you good? Yeah, I never was drunk. It was just hot. Hot. Oh, yeah. The alcohol. I may be little, but I swear it takes much more alcohol than that to get Miss Juicy down. I ain't no party pooper. What type of men you like? I like them tall. Dreads. Dreads and tattoos. So what type of men you like? Tall, dark, and well and down. Ooh. She want Wesley Snipes. You got love pain. Oh, hey, the mini, oh. the mini, tell us about your day at uh, Top Golf. Yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> okay, so we sitting there, it's a blind day, right? So all of a sudden, somebody, I hear a boy say, um, are you mini? And I'm turning around, it's a little person. But you like tall guy. Yeah. Okay. Was he nice, though? I mean, he was nice, but that day really made me open up and be like, I need to stop having a wall and stop having this long ass list like tall as me and say, my man gotta be this, my man gotta be that. Hey, is the mini boy still open? Yeah! <laughs> I can't stand your ass. The mini boy of the new management? <laughs> well, I'm new, so I'm 
nigga who has been to the meeting before? Oh. <laughs> I just gonna stay forward. I just wanna know. I <laughs> just wanna know. Now, I don't know. I don't know all y'all anyway. So. Money. I remember you from somewhere. And oh. I know you from Houston, and I know your name Money. What's your name, name? Tiffany. Tiffany. Remember something about that. When I hear, what's your real name, I instantly think, bitch, who you working for? Talk to me about, about the food stamp. Talk to me about that. Now, there's a situation in my past, and I wanted it to stay in my past. But little people talk, and these little bitches trying to put me on blast. Um, I'm a mother. I'm a single mother. My baby dad was with this girl. She was hood. And when I wasn't working, I was getting food stamps, and I was getting Medicaid. When I started working, I didn't report it, so his gal, she reported me. Now, I didn't know nothing about this money situation, but I was afraid that these girls might stir some up. So you went to jail for that? No, I ain't no, never been to jail. You went to probation. probation. When I apply for food stamps, they only gave me like ten or twenty-five dollars. But then sometimes the government would say, "Well, they don't got much money to give somebody like me that really need it, but somebody else out there is stealing." So right. That's why I brought it up. I am not gonna sit here unless somebody accuse me of being a damn thief. Let me go check on my see, make sure she okay. This is not even the right time or place to bring this up. It's like every time we all get together, I gotta answer questions. First, it was like, what kind of dwarfism you got? Now it's, you know, about my past. What the f I gotta get a credit report next to be around mother I don't think they meant it trying to cause trouble or anything, but they shouldn't have brought that. They're kind of personal. I don't know what Charity and Hope was thinking. They always been too outspoken for their own damn good. My whole thing is like, who the f are they? I just hate the fact that mother was judging me. Like, that's not, that's not what's up. Everybody got a pass. Nobody is squeaky clean, so. This ain't what's up, then this ain't how you get down. You know what I'm saying? You just don't ask me to think. It's just, it's all good. Do what you gotta do, money. I wanna know why the y'all wanna know what's going on with me. Like, I'm tired of mother questioning me like they my mama. And then y'all turn up on me about my background. Did you want my credit history too? Do you wanna know First the scope? Of all, I didn't turn up on you. So Turn up at a whole different level, okay? Okay, so like, uh, so now you know the information, so what is it now? That's it just how you know. Nothing. We heard some in Texas. Man, we saw well, you. Uh, what you heard, I'm right here. Okay, I can tell you. That's why I asked you. That's why I asked you. That's why I asked you. Now you told me the story, and I'm done with it. Because you belong. Man, I understand that, what? but I'm just not gonna just let it go like that, because if I just let it go like you that, then my feel like they just can question me about all this kind of I, I met people like you that okay. stand from the mother I do understand, but it don't make it mother It don't make it mother I got a kid at home. Why your ass is stealing money? My mother ass is home. You turn up on the wrong mother I don't know. I'm not the food pantry, sweetheart. That's who you need to turn up on if you're hungry. But why you stealing? You stealing from me, too. I got a Oh, my God. invited us to a boat party, but I barely know these girls, and they're calling me out about stuff from my past, and it's none of their business. I do understand, but it don't make it I got a kid at home. Years ago, I made a mistake. I withheld some information about my work history in order to keep getting food stamps to provide for my son. But why you steal? You steal from me, too. It caught up with me. I did what I needed to do, so now I'm just ready to move on. Y'all ass is still the money. My mother ass is hungry. I got a Oh, my God. Get that bitch. Oh, 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 no. I'm going to bring your ass up here. Man, I'll push off y'all damn 
I'm on money side right now. The drummer twins are out of order. They should never brought up this information in front of everyone. The twins ought to be ashamed of themselves. But it hurts me to see how money reacts. She don't need to lower her standards to their level. When start going overboard, then man, y'all making the beast lose it, man. Okay, y'all, calm down, calm down. I messed up my wig. You gotta learn to be the bigger person in this. You let them steal your joy. Don't let people steal your joy. Get me out there. Last night was downright disrespectful. The drumming twins is way out of line. Yes, Money lost it, but she had reasons. I got Money's back, and they need to know that. All right, this looks nice. Mm -hmm. How in the hell we get up in here? What you're gonna do is take your shoes off. This is all new to me now. I feel like I take a bath in this thing. That's why I'm gonna jump in and take a bath, huh? <laughs> sure. Yeah, I'm a difficult one. Hold you up? Wait, wait, Tina. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just give me a hand for a second. Oh, Jesus. Pull me up, baby. Yeah. OK. Girl. OK. See, you got Ooh. it. You got it. I thought you were going to pick me up, Tina. <laughs> <laughs> girl, just sit back and relax. Baby, I'm scared. Scared of what? It's my first pet. Is it a pedicure? I can't believe it's the first time the twins ever had a pedicure. Good Lord. You know the reason why I brought y'all here? Mm hmm Because how it turned out on the boat. As far as money goes, mm -hmm. it, I felt like she was attacked about some personal business, and she don't want to relive that. It's not that she set out to say, hey, I'm going to rob the system. No. Her mindset was, I have a responsibility. I have a child. Y'all know. Y'all yeah, got that's kids. That's true. That's true. You'll do anything for your child. But I'm be throwing but, but because you was, wouldn't throw she stuff. She straight hood. But y'all hood, too. Charity and hope just don't seem to be getting it. They crossed the line, and even worse, they made me look bad for bringing them. You wasn't mature like that when you was that age either, probably. When I was her age, I was carrying knives, and we were called, the club. We were called the switch play girl. What? You got the nerve to call money a hood rat? Please. We left all that street behind. She left that stuff behind her, too, about the food stamp. Right. Can we all behave next time we get together? I'm good. Now, y'all know Bree. Remember Bree? Right. Yeah. Well, she has a son. Oh, okay. okay. And he has a birthday party coming up. OK. All the girls going to be there. OK. OK. Including money. Mm hmm I promise you, I won't start nothing. I'm just want to be friend. Doing. I'm Thank a you. friend before I'm a foe. I'm a foe, and then I'm a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> Thank you. You too. Like a drink or anything? Yes, please, some water. I feel like right now. Last night, boat ride was a complete disaster. Where's Malik? He's still in their sleep. <laughs> Thank you, girl. Yeah. I need this. <laughs> so I'm trying to plan his third birthday. Oh. He's about to be three. I want it to be at like a, it's like hippo fun. Mm -hmm. It's like inside playground stuff. Who all coming? The girls, but the other two twins are coming. The drama? Yeah. Juicy asked to invite them, so oh. they said they had kids, so I was gonna let them be here for me. After last night, I really don't want the drumming twins to come to Meek's special day, but I already promised Juicy that they could come. And besides, they have kids around Meek's age. Girl, I don't know what happened. I just now. It was like a tornado up in the Now you head. knocked my cup off. But when you got people that you don't know, bring it back up old stuff, your past or in whatever. In front of everybody. That was crazy. I just can't believe it happened. But my biggest, biggest concern is like, Moreland, man. Moreland, is, he's just been quiet. He ain't really been saying too much. Moreland's not happy the way I handled myself on the boat. I lost control, and that's something he hates. I'm trying to learn how to control my anger, but 
It's like I keep popping off. It's, it's classy. I'll be classy and then ratchet will take over either way. But I just hope he can look past it. I think if you talk to him and like see what's wrong with him, see how he's feeling about certain things, and just talk to him about it, talk it out, then it won't be a problem. You're right. You're right. I get that Money's trying to be better with her anger issues. I hear him right now. You hear him? Oh, he up. I'm going to go with that. But she needs to try harder to hold it together, especially if she's coming to my baby's third birthday party. Mama has no patience for that Say hi. Hey. 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 <laughs> she's helping me plan your birthday. Which one? Yeah, she was. <laughs> <laughs> Woman, why is it dark in here? Because hmm? girl, I'm trying to rest. And then there was like, how you that? doing, Mimi? I just feel fat as hell. Are you gonna be mean to me today? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Things between my sister and I have been really awkward since our big fight. <laughs> I can't. I know you don't want me to deliver you. Home. You are taking this all the way beyond. Like what the f did I do to you? I'm trying to support her, but it's hard. She's being a total bitch to me. Are you hungry? Girl, I stay hungry, girl. <laughs> what have you been up to, Amanda? What on a boat? Lake Namir? With all the girls and the new twins. Twins? Yeah, twins. Are they pretty? You want the truth or you want to lie? <laughs> So how are they? Like, how do they dress and all that? Ghetto. Uh-uh. The dumb and twins' sense of fashion is no fashion. They don't know how to dress. Like, they just put on whatever. Man, hurry up, girl. I'll be starving. Here you go, sister. That's how you like it. Are you serious? I'm your sister. I'm running around in my chick, woman. Why I came over here? Because something has been on my mind. What? Am I really not gonna be in the living room with you? I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. Is Chris ready? He is. Gonna be there for Abby. I think so. We you sure? can't really just keep your hopes up because he did it the first time. One makes you need the second times. Only he's the one that can All right, show Mother. you. All right. Do I think Chris is gonna be there for Andrea? Uh, no. Uh, are you gonna eat that or not? No. My sister has given Chris too many chances and he still doesn't know. Thank you though. Whatever. But Andrea doesn't wanna hear it and I don't wanna tell her anymore. Well, I guess she ain't want the light on. since the incident on the boat, and I've really been trying to show Morning that I can change and control my anger. Two bubble teas would be fine. Let me order one for my boyfriend. Morning wants the girl that's calm under pressure and can keep us together. Hey, yeah. baby. Look what I got for you. But one thing I found to always be true, Donuts help everything. It was supposed to be good. I put your scroll in there. I, I was so nervous that I ordered two by yeah. mistake. But that sure is. Try some, okay, some nice little treats. Uh, I'm not really feeling it right now. I'm just really not in the mood. Still pissed off, you know? You pissed off. Yeah. I mean. I really just need to talk to you about your tempo on the boat, the way you went off. I don't understand you pissed, but man, I, I went out my way to. Try to get you some nice treats. And, you I, know what and I understand all that, but you gotta learn to control your temper then. And I've been by your side, but I'm just saying I'm tired of that fraud stuff coming up. People keep bringing up the past about you. When I first met Morning, I told him about this food stamps, and he was cool with it because he knew I had to do what I had to do to provide for my son. I can't control what, who brings up what, okay? It's a lot to take in. Yeah, and then... but don't do that because you already knew that. You knew that coming in, yeah. so don't act brand new. 
one and knew about it from day one, so he needs to deal with it. I understand that you did try to calm me down. I do, but I was already there. I need help, you know, when it comes down to controlling my anger problems. But I'm saying, if you don't give me the chance and, and you know, and work with me on it, it's not fair. Like, we've been through a lot. Like, when I'm I did saying it, but I'm, I'm really not just, I don't know. I really got a lot of thinking to do. Like, you got a lot of work to do on your temple. It's really, I, I don't know, man. I'm just second guessing it all. Man, it's, I don't want you to second guess me because I'm trying. Now I feel like, right now I feel like if you second guessing me, like you turning your back on me. I'm not turning and my I'm back. Really, I'm really never... trying, and I don't want you to give up on me. Deep down inside, I know Moreland is worth fighting for. I love Moreland, and I can't lose him. I won't lose him. This really got me all. I understand. It's got me got all you. in the mind, and now I don't know, you know what I want to do, you know? I still love you and all, but it's not going to be no way until we get things right. There you go. I was trying to wish Malika happy birthday. Yeah, baby. Rude. <laughs> Being in Dallas is definitely hard being away from all the girls in Atlanta. I've been to every single one of Malik's birthdays, just like Bree has done the same for Ava. Malik has his birthday party coming up. All the girls are going? Yeah. Um, Juicy has these new twin friends that we met. They have kids, and I invited them meet to meet new friends. So you met the twins already? They invited us to their boat party that they had. Oh, uh, how was that? Oh my gosh, it was just crazy. They found out some information about money. Somebody told them that she had a job, but then she was still getting like food stamps. So she lied to like welfare. So like they brought that up about it and she got pumped up and she's like, why are you guys questioning me? And then. She got up all in their face, and like this is the first time they're meeting any of us. And they bring up food stamps. Yeah. That's broke, ratchet, bull I, can, I, I don't even know them, and I already feel like they're trashy. Damn, it definitely makes me feel like I'm not missing out on too much. They out there acting crazy in Atlanta. I feel like I've grown up, and I'm on mom roll, and they're still on crazy psycho bitches rolls. How did um, Stranger do it? He's doing good. Ever since his surgery, it's been going really well. Like, they said it would take a while for him to get used to the trach, but every day he seems to get better and better at it. That's good. Yeah, and I've been learning how to, like, take care of it. It's like a process, and you have to be really careful. It takes two people because, like, it can't come out because that's, like, his only way of breathing. Who's going to be your second person to, like, take the course and help you through all of it? Montel's been there with his trach. He's, like, super afraid of it, though. So I don't know if I'll be comfortable with him helping me. Because something you have to be like super calm and confident with, you, like, you can't mess up or get frustrated. When it comes to JJ, I definitely do feel alone. I need someone there that I can fall back on in case things just get too hard. What's next for him? Well, he's on the hospital vent right now. And then from that, they wean him down to something called a home ventilator. So it's like he has to work a lot harder. Once he's on that machine, he gets to go to the children's house, which is the rehab place where they teach me how to put him in the car with his trach, how to like do everything with it. And like I'll be able to stay there at the actual facility. It's like the transitional stage of him coming home. He's just steps away. Lots of little steps. <laughs> lots and lots of little steps. I just want my baby home. Right there. Look, yep. So that means you gotta go on the right, the left? This is crazy. An hour ago, I get a phone call from Amanda saying that Andrea is about to have her baby, like now. Push it, push it. Okay. Okay, babe. Go you the car, okay? All right. Come on.
we're going to go ahead and we'll do the section. We're going to go through the same incision that you had before. The procedure will probably take about 40 minutes. You're starting off a little anemic. So I've already arranged that we'll have a unit of blood ready to go if we need it. My sister shouldn't be unknown on a day like this. What the f is Chris? Amanda, are you gonna be in the ER with us? Yes. Chris hasn't showed up, so I'm suiting up. She ain't going through this without her sister. Unbelievable. How long did it get here to the house? 20? Yeah, hey, This is a high-risk pregnancy. Everything that you have done for us, man. He just doesn't get it. We can't wait for him. I'm sorry. We have to get you the Andrea's gone into labor early, so she's in the OR for her C-section. What about Chris? Crazy ass. Chris isn't here, so Amanda went with Andrea to the delivery room. But I know how important it is for Amanda, you know, to be mm -hmm. around and you be there for her. be real tight now. She don't hardly ever talk to her really that much. Yeah, that's what she was telling me. Mm -hmm. I'm so disappointed that Chris is not here. In the past, he wasn't there for Andre. Now, starting all over again. Where's the baby daddy? Andre got a girl, she got a boy, now she got a girl. Time to tie those two. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. What you doing in here? How are you doing? Chris is in here. So your sister tell you to get out? I was all ready to go into the operating room with my sister, and all of a sudden, Chris shows up. He looked at Andrea and he asked her, well, who's going to be in the operating room with you? And the, 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 no, he sees me all dressed up. Right. You know? And then my sister, she looks at me, and then like she gives me like a look. He goes, Chris is going to go in there. And I said, all right. Like, it hurt my feelings, mm -hmm. kind of, because you know, I really wanted to be in there with her. I'm so glad. I, like, I didn't bother to say bye, nothing. I just like walked off. But at least he's there for her. I'm hurt by my sister's decision, but I understand Chris is the father and she wants him to be there. But I deserve to be in there with her because I was there right by her side when she was having those contractions. Where the f was Chris? The girl. I got a picture. It says, hey, congratulations. <laughs> Abby was born weighing five pounds, seven ounces, and is doing great. And Jazz also came and headed to the recovery. That's good, let me see. Yes. She's so pretty. Mm. Even though Chris showed up late, I'm just happy Abby's healty and my sister's okay. Good, man. Oh my God. Is she beautiful? She does look like RJ. She does, right? Welcome to the world, baby Aubrey. I am so excited. I cannot wait to go shopping for you and buy you cute little baby outfits. You can tell she's a little person because, you know, her shoulders mm -hmm. right there. That's about it. But everything else looks, looks good. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Told I'm you. I'm again. <sighs> so happy. I'm beyond excited. I just cannot wait to see my niece. I'm glad he at least texted me. I was gonna worry. You feel good now? Yeah. I'm so tired, aren't they? Me too. I'm glad y'all come. My mom and dad and Andre took the earliest flight from Dallas today when they heard Andre was going into labor. Where's mom? <laughs> Mom's in Mama. the hospital. No! Yeah, you're gonna Where have a baby is? sister. No. Uh oh. No. You ready for a baby sister? No. Why not? Why not? Me home. I want it. You don't want it? Uh. Yeah, but she's here. What's the matter? Huh? Do you see baby sister? No, mama. <laughs> mama. See? Who's that? Baby, baby sister? Look. Look at the baby. baby. Look at baby sister. <laughs> Come on. 
So, Mandy, have, have they told you anything on how the baby's doing? I'm just sure that the baby's doing fine. They have her in a feeding tube because she's kind of breathing kind of fast. So, I guess, you know, if she tries to feed her with the bottle, you know, she can choke. She's not in an incubator or nothing. Oh, that's wow. good. That's, that's good. That's, that's, that's real pretty, good. Yeah. But the baby, she's so pretty, beautiful, <laughs> little. She oh looks big. Goodness. She has her nose. Her yeah. button nose. Yeah. I wanted to hold her. That's the first thing I wanted to do. I want to check Andrea's baby room. This is the baby room. Hmm. I mean, there's no feelings in the room. It looks a little sad. I don't sad. know, because I have not been here. Everything should have been set up. You know, we need to get a crib, a dresser. We just need to get this place looking more like a baby's room. I expect it to already be painted. She's on bed rest. But Chris isn't. There's no excuse for, for this. I'll ask you know, he him. I'll talk to him. Maybe he doesn't know how to paint. <laughs> but maybe. She's not ready to come home at all. Surprise. Working in radio, you get to meet some of the most talented people. And Jake Rothschild came and cooked for us one day at the radio station. I thought it would be a great idea to treat money to some of Jake's cooking, so I invited her to one of Jake's private cooking classes. Welcome to the cooking school at Irwin Street. Jake's so talented, I want more of what he's cooking. This is my friend, Money. Hi, Money. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Besides, I owe her a big favor. The Drummond sisters are my friends, and I feel responsible for what went down at the boat party. Are you all ready to learn some stuff? Yes, we are. I think it's real thoughtful that Juicy took me to a cooking class, because Lord knows I can't cook. And everybody knows the best way to a man's heart is through his stomach. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually cut up some vegetables, and then we're going to actually broil some salmon with some pesto. Sound like good. There you go, that's it. You are just had the baby, right? What? She's in the NICU. She's there because she's small and she was early. I'm so happy for Andrea and excited that little Aubrey has been born. I can't wait to hold her. Well, this is my way to apologize for the way my friends acted, the drumming twins. Oh, you ain't got to apologize for them. I know that was totally out your control. Bringing the drumming twins to meet the other girls, nothing but drama. No, I can't see what's going on over you here. You know what? We can get you up higher. Did you want me to do that? Yes, please. OK. Here you go, money. Oh, thank you. Yes, ma'am. And now, go right ahead and start adding kale. Just want to make sure we keep stirring it from the bottom up. There you go. But anyway, so with the twins acting up, I, I want to make it up to you, mm -hmm. you know? Cause we got other events coming up, like Meek's birthday party. But you know how I feel about them, though. They came for me. I really feel they came for me. I don't trust them, you know? I don't want to be there if they want to be there. Well, they already have been invited, and they promised that they would be on their best behavior. I feel sorry for money. Things got off at a bad start, but I hope the twins can come and act civilized and mend things together. Look at what y'all made. Look what y'all did. <laughs> Actually, this one's yours. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Girl, look at this. You a pro now? Girl, I'm gonna love this dish. <laughs> It's a beautiful place. I know. Typical Chris, he hasn't even organized a bed for Aubrey. So my mother and I are shopping for a new crib while Andrea and Aubrey are recovering in the hospital. What kind of father is he? This would be nice, but... This kind of sucks because, you know, we cannot reach over. There would have to be a lot of alterations to this crib. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I think this would be perfect for her. Once that cuts the legs, I think it'll Shorter. work, yeah. Normally, I don't talk to my mom about Andrea's relationship, but Andrea hasn't been listening to me lately. Maybe she'll listen to our mom. A lot have been going on, you know, with Chris and Andrea. 
You know, well, the other day I had went to see if Angela was all right and I wanted to talk to her. Chris had said, the doctor said that she don't need to be stressing, just that she needs to rest. I said, so you're telling me that I'm stressing my sister? Like, he kind of like ran towards the door, and, like he was blocking it. He blocked the door? Yeah, and that's when Andrea told me that I came in there aggressive, I was being loud, which I wasn't. And then she told me that I could not be in the delivery room with her. That's not like her to act that way. It might be that she's under a lot of stress with the baby. Then at the hospital, when they were going to deliver her, you know, Chris wasn't there when I walked in. What happened to Chris? I Why was he? What, he should have been there already. It just really blows my mind. For him to have done that makes me very, very upset. Very upset. He needs to step up to the plate, be man enough to take care of his family. Mm. We need to just stand by her no matter what. He might not know what family is, but we're family. And no matter what, we're going to stick together. Yeah. I'm glad my mom's hearing about what happened because she needs to know Chris is being controlling. I miss you girls. You guys are too far away. Have you ever thought Andrea would want Andre to come down here to live with her so Andre and Abby won't be separated? You know, I'm just gonna be straightforward. His doctors in Dallas are doing a great job by taking care of Andre's medical condition and we would not jeopardize his health. But what if and Jess says no to you, and she's like, no, Andre's going to come down here. We're not about to do that. I know it's hard for my mom to think about giving up Andre, but the reason why Andre and I moved to Anana was for independence. And sooner or later, Andre's going to want to have both her kids with her. We love him like if he was our own son. It would really, really, really tear us apart. I don't want to. No, don't do it like that. You're gonna break it, boy. But in the hospital, right? Yeah, it's just gonna be out. It's been a week since I gave birth to Aubrey. It was really hard to leave Aubrey in the hospital. But the doctors have her on a feeding tube. And I can still go visit her. Plus, being at home, I could spend some time with Andre. I was worried that you were not gonna be in there. Like, I was kinda upset. And you were not gonna make it on time because I really, like, it was early. He kept telling me to calm down because I was crying and crying and crying. Did I, was I there? Can't yeah, believe you were there in the last minute. You're getting yourself mad, but just thinking about it. Because of the way I felt that day, like the way you pissed me off. I already know where this is gonna go to and okay. all this and that. Just... All right, let's change subject. I know a lot. This is a lot of things running through my mind. I think we're not prepared. We don't have nothing. At least we have, we have a bassinet. But why do you need a crib? She's so small for a crib. Like what? Babe, but still, like you want her to have her room. She's not even a month. I'm really disappointed. It really worries me that Chris is not trying as hard as he can. It makes me feel that he's not 100% on board. My parents are gonna come over. Right now? In a few minutes. I was thinking I was gonna go get some food and all that. Um, do you need something before you, like, you know, before I leave? Yeah, I know Chris doesn't want to be here when my parents come over. He knows how unprepared we are with Aubrey. And when they see it, he's afraid that they're gonna blame it on him. Hey, Andrea. Hey. Hey, How do you feel home? home? How do you feel not having to bring Aubrey home? Bad. I bet. But you know, at least she's in good hands, you know. And plus, I need to rest. Yeah, you just need to kind of just relax and have Amanda just kind of cater to you. I still feel bad that I had to choose Chris over Amanda during my C-section. But I know deep down, it's the right thing to do because he is the father. So I don't see why my sister will get mad about that. I'm going to put her to bed and just get her nice and comfortable before we leave. Try to help you as much as I can. Oh, mm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. I love you. I love I'm so you glad you're here. Are you okay? Hi. 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 Hi! Hi! You guys here from Meek's party? Yes, ma'am. Yes, we are. 
Meek is turning three today. I'm so excited to celebrate it with him, Wuda, and his half-brother, Woody. Meek brought so much joy into my life, and today, I want to give it all back to him. Whoa, look, Meek! You like it? Hey! Hi! Hey! Hi. Hello, buddy. Hi. How are you? Hi, Meek! I've known Meek since he was born. He's always have a smile on his face, great spirit. He makes me want to have a little boy. You look pretty, girl. Yeah, you look good. I pretty much invited everyone to this party, even the Drummond twins, because they have kids around Meek's age. I'm okay with them coming, but they need to leave the drama at home. Are y'all ready to jump? Yeah. <laughs> little person and playing with these little kids is hilarious. Too much ass, hold on. I know it says for kids only, but hey, I'm a big kid at heart. The food and stuff should be ready soon. Come on, y'all. the drummer twins coming to Meek's birthday party. Couldn't Bree find a clown? Tonight, my game plan is just to ignore them or to kill them with kindness. I need to show Molly that I can keep it together even when I'm being pushed to the limit. I decided to bring the twins today because I think they owe money an apology. Bree. What's that a drink? Juice boxes. Oh, OK. What the <laughs> All right, thanks. This is a kid's playground. What do they expect? An open bar? I don't even know why I thought we needed this. I could be in at home. <laughs> the German twins are whispering and laughing with each other. I don't know what they're saying, but I don't think it's good. They may stop drinking that drink, just in case you need it. <laughs> Let's go play. Bye, OK. <laughs> <laughs> no. Look at you, man. <laughs> OK. So why y'all here? Wait, 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 wait. Can we move the drinks? Bree told me she invited the drama twins because they have kids. I don't see no kids. I didn't blame my baby because he wouldn't understand if something had popped out. I just don't know if y'all was coming to stir some stuff up, because you remember last time we met up, it didn't go right. It, it didn't come out well, and I know what I did. You know, she done done it for everybody. I didn't even know it was go like that. I mean, I'm sitting here exactly. thinking. Exactly, so that, that goes to show you, if you don't know it's going to go like that, you can't just go you know, to walk up to anybody and pop out. When I hear something, mm -hmm. I'm going to flat out and say it. That but that's me. not the way, you right. know, so I'm going to apologize for that. Just, just keep it real. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I need to hear apologies from you for my sister. They call me out, and they want me to apologize? Bitch, you gonna be waiting. We gonna be here all day. I don't know if they got time. Lights gonna be out, because I ain't. But they, ah. Uh, I don't feel like I did nothing wrong. Money doesn't hide her feelings when she's about to pop off. She start rubbing her hands together, start clicking them nails. You better run for cover. Shorty, you need to take your apology back because, damn. No, no. The apology. You ain't never thinking. Last time we met, it didn't come out well, and I know what I did. You know, she done done it for everybody. Yeah, so I'm going to apologize for that. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We told Juicy we were going to keep the calm, but at the same time, 
I can get a hell of a from you from my sister. Hearing them drama twins say they sorry, that feels pretty good. And I will apologize to the drama twins when hell freezes over. We gonna be here all day. I don't know if they got time. Lights gonna be out, cause I ain't. But they, ah. Uh, I don't feel like I did nothing wrong. Shorty, you need to take your apology back because damn. The apology, no, the apology, no. The apology. No. The apology. Well, thank you. Oh well, if I'm good. Uh, there you go with nothing. I, 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 These girls need to relax. This is a three-year-old's birthday party. Who is the three-year-old, huh? You got it. Stop. 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 Money. Stop. Money. Stop. Money. Stop. Money. Stop. Y'all better get the out of here. No. Money. Stop. That bitch is through on me. On me, too. Everyone can leave now. I'm telling you, Max is a twin. I don't like it. Don't I mess with her. I, I knew. See, you talking about she trying to recover from some, some stuff. Tell about let's go. Hell, them bitches. Them bitches. Right. Money. What? You got to calm down. You just I can't... ain't there yet. I ain't, a, I, ain't turn, I ain't there to turn the other cheek just yet. Right. It's baby still. It's levels to this. I feel bad for money. The twins were disrespectful and childish. I came here hoping that the drum and sister could redeem themselves, but they proved me wrong. When stuff like that happens, you got to You the... go back. I fight back. Damn it, ain't nobody finna just get away with doing but nobody thing. ever take you out of your character. And then I was chill, too. I don't know why, why do it happened a food fight. When I feel like somebody, I'm going to retaliate. That's just how I do. This is a damn kid's birthday party. Right. A kid. This is bull These are grown ass women acting like three year olds. And my phone got coke on it. They came here for a motor. They came here for a motor. See, this is exactly why I only have people come to Meek's party that is here for Meek. Wait, I'm so sorry. They told me they was coming to apologize. Oh, that's what they came to do? From the start, every time I mention it to anyone. Anytime I invited anyone, I was like, do not bring the drama. Leave that at the door. It's Meek's birthday. Y'all came here for Meek. Like, his whole cake is ruined. What the is wrong with these women? This is my son's birthday party, not the damn UFC. Money and Juicy especially should be ashamed of what just happened. I can't deal with any of y'all right now. I'm gonna go out with my son and enjoy his whole day right now. Whatever y'all do, I don't give a Y'all can do whatever you want to do, because it's ridiculous. Wait. Wait. Clearly, her daughter was hurt when she left that shower. Yeah. Minnie was devastated, and she went home and told her mother about it. But everybody else asked her the you same. You have motive. What are her motive? What do you, you think? You wanted to All be right. her. I, I want to be who? You want to be her, girl? Why would I want to be her? At first, I thought you wanted her. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> oh, you done grow some confidence minute, now that your mama is out here. Tammy, hold on, I, I, hold on. Kevin. Stop for a second, hold on, hold on. Tammy, are you making an insinuation that there was some romantic feelings that Kevin, Juicy had I towards men? What other female you see that be like, um, <laughs> what is Minnie doing? What is, yeah, a clown, a clown. All this shade. Bitch, please. All this shade. I need to run off the stage, Kevin, because I'm afraid of clowns. Since I want to be Minnie so bad, Google me, and then you Google her. You ain't nobody. You dressed up like an elf. Hold on, hold on, stop, stop for a second. Hold on, hold on. This is her mama acting like this. This is her mama. Whatever. You barely made hold, the picture hold, on the bus and Ricky Smiley. Are you for real? Hold on yes, for I'm for real. Money, what were you saying? Go ahead, what were you saying? I mean, it ain't even really nothing to say, but just let it, because I see the, the apple don't fall too far from the tree. Don't even go there. You fake-ass friend. You an opportunist. I got a voice over career. And she called me Very good, so... and I'm proud of you, because first season, baby, you needed subtitles, because you couldn't speak correctly. 
Speak, speak up. up. What are you talking about? You little troll. If you wait, if you've been so hurt by your daughter being disrespected, Emily, why y'all calling Emily, names? Emily, you don't you don't have anything to do no, with this. No, it has right nothing here. to do with this. Emily, stay in your lane. You did say one of the hardest things mm -hmm. that your daughter has gone through is, bullying. is people pointing at her, bullying her, calling her names. They tried to trash her so bad. Oh. They tried to. They but tried. you understand that's a little hypocritical, right? I don't care what you call her. You can call her what you want to. I don't care. Juicy, let me ask you this. What led you to filing the restraining order? Did you fear for your safety? Yes, I did. <laughs> Number one, I didn't know her mama was coming. I, I have a mama, too, that's very protective over her daughter. But we don't act ghetto. I want to act ghetto, honey. Yo, your friend Tiffany is ghetto. Let's stop for a second. That's, that's ghetto. The throw chicken wings is ghetto. Let's Thank just let, you. Let's say, Thank but you, I'm that's just saying. All we need but hold on, let's go on back. Do you regret filing that restraint? No. For somebody of her size to come at me like that, when the only thing I came to do was talk, I fear for my life. I fear for my safety, yes. Uh, in season one, money threw something at you. You didn't file a restraining order. Is it? Money threw something at me. She threw water on me because of a lie that many had told her. I knew that she didn't know what was going on. She didn't know that that was a lie. Bree, do you think Tammy was out of line? Being a mother, you would want to be the mediator and be grown about it. But like throwing chicken wings, like that was wrong. That's good. You're entitled to your opinion, Bree. Emily, should uh, Tammy have stayed out of it? Yeah, it's Minnie's problem. I think it got out of line. But I don't agree with her reasoning for filing a restraining order. Like that's my opinion. Whether no, anybody agree with no, it no, or no. not, no, no, that's my opinion. Juicy, I hear, I get it. Andrea, Amanda, do you think that Tammy should have stayed out of this? I think she just, like, got overprotective. What if it was your nephew? If it was my nephew, best believe, I'll, it would not be no damn chicken wings. It would be something else. Just because a child gets a certain age doesn't mean that parent doesn't have to stop parenting. I, I still, I don't get that, though. And if someone questioned my son, that, don't, that ain't right for me to pop off. I asked the same question. But you didn't try didn't to tear, it. you didn't try, at that time, you didn't try to tear her down and mess with her character like she did. From day one, when she stepped on the scene, that was her agenda. You were her friend at first. But then you go and sleep with the enemy. And since you've been with her, your property value have been down. Your weave look a mess. You wearing some bad synthetic wigs. I got hairstylers you know. giving me. Okay, please stay I over know there. because I am a mother. I've been one longer okay, than you well, have. Okay, well, you a mother because uh, uh, right now you acting like her no, sister. Uh, sister. Shut the hell up. I tell you one thing. At least I don't have to do welfare fraud. Oh. That's in my past. Because you're depending on your man. Now, who's to it? He finna marry. We finna get married. You getting married? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. But you getting married though? You getting married? Before you walk down that aisle, you need to check him because somebody in this. Group he trying to talk to. Let's stop for a second. Let's stop for a second. Boom, 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 boom. Let's stop for a second, OK? Bitch. Because now you're you're throwing out real allegations and yes, charges I out am. here against her fiance, the man she's about to yes. marry. What are you trying to say? I'm just saying, before she walk down that aisle, she need to check Moreland, because he's trying to holler at somebody in this Ooh. group. <laughs> it's somebody. And they afraid to say something. Ooh. Raise your hand if you're not talking to Moreland. Not talking to Moreland. <laughs> Who are you suggesting? She's Andrea, looking at Drea. Well, not uh, me. Andrea not was... me. Well, I don't know why you're looking at me for it. So she made what a lie? Minnie, here's the thing. Y'all said it. Y'all said it. Let's be honest. You, said it, say it. you just said it on national TV. Okay, so I'm now say, say it. it. Say it then. Who? Who is the person? Go Everybody ahead and say what happened. What is the truth? What's saying? the truth? Tell that us. The he truth. made some statements saying that her boyfriend is not treating her right. I treat her right. You're talking about Chris, clearly, and Andrea. And so what are you saying? Oh my God. He made those statements. Did you hear those statements? I didn't hear those statements. I did not hear those. Who did he say that to? He said it to someone that was in our group. Did you know this? Down the did you know this? Yeah, did you I, heard, know I heard this from someone. But Who? Who'd you hear from? I'm not gonna say no names. That's all I know. I ain't gonna say no names. That's all I'm gonna say. What did you What did you hear? <laughs> oh my Just God. tell her how the is. Meaning say you say it because you heard it so, and you told he, me so. I'm not he gonna told, tell nothing else. From what I heard, Marlon was telling Jordan mm -hmm. that Drea looked good after she had the baby, and that Chris is not treating her right, and he will treat her better. I want to know, Mike, what do you think? I don't think nothing. Like, we strong, we good. But believe whatever the you want to believe. I don't give a damn. That's you marrying this dumb ass. You need to leave your ugly ass. 
Tammy, are there any last words you want to say? Because it didn't have to be this way. They belittled my daughter. They talked about my daughter. But do you want it to end? Do you want to it's fix it or do you want to escalate it? It's a package it? deal. When you talk about her, you talk about me. <laughs> well, in the future, stop wasting good wings. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Hopefully, things can get calmed down and worked out a little bit later. Thank you, Tammy. You're welcome. Moreland liked it so much that he put a ring on, but Money's family would have preferred that she remain a single lady. I love you, and I really want to ask you what you do the honor what? of being my wife. Yeah, I don't know. I got a wedding to plan. I think your budget would probably hit 75000 Woo! Oh, that's kind of steep. Like the two. You acting like a Brazilla right now. Claws haven't even came out yet. You got champagne taste, but you got beer money. Every time we sit down and do wedding planning, we get into an argument. My dad don't even know we're engaged. What if your father says no? I can't even put that ring on. But you know your father has never liked anyone that you dated. Daddy! So I want to get you guys permission. You're not going to get to marry my daughter, because I don't know you. You should just look at me and trust me. I'm not convinced. Now, I, I do want to mention that Money's fiance, Moreland, um, wanted to join us here tonight, but unfortunately, he can't be here. He is starting a new job and could not get away. He's working. It's a good thing because it sounds like he needs to make a lot of money because this <laughs> wedding is going to cost a lot. Um, how is the wedding planning going? It's going. <laughs> Have you figured out the budget yet? No, Moreland is in charge of it. I just want it to be, you know, elegant. I, I want it to be nice. And then, but yeah. I want the reception to be, that's when I want it to get a little ratchet. I ain't gonna even lie, you know what I'm saying? So I want to clutch it with it. You know, planning a, a wedding is stressful enough, but also you're dealing with trying to get the approval of your family. Yeah, that too. Especially your stepdad. Why is he against you marrying more? Oh man, I guess because he hasn't been like around him. Mm -hmm. A lot, so he don't really know him. But at the end of the day, I feel like, like I told Morley, I'm, I'm going to marry him. I'm going to be with him. I'm not going to be married to my dad. You go forward with this wedding without your stepdad's approval? Yeah, because I still love him more than. And I know he, he had my best interest. He's not going to, you know, I felt like he talked to him. We good. I hear you. I do want to mention that Money Stepfather Donald is here to join us, and hopefully he can shed some light on why he is not on board with having Moreland for a future son-in-law. Welcome back. I'm your host, Kevin Frazier, and we are here with the ladies at the Little Women Atlanta Season 2 reunion. Money Stepfather Donald is here to join us, and hopefully he can shed some light on why he is not on board with having Moreland for a future son-in-law. Oh, shoot. Sit around. Sit down right there. Hey, Dad. <laughs> Money just said that she's going she's gonna to marry Moreland, no matter what. Without your blessing, what do you say to that? I say to that, that's um, typical of Money. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the opinions that I voiced about Moreland, financial situation, character, my confidence in him, I still have those reservations. You do? Yeah. And uh, he was supposed to talk to me about wanting to marry money. The way things developed, you know, we're, we're having a get together, I'm meeting her friends and everything is wonderful. And then all of a sudden, it was like I was bum rushed. Hey, I want to marry your daughter. Or, I love money and I'm caught up in the moment. And I'm like, boom, man, what you talking about? I don't even know you and I'm not impressed by anything that you're bringing to the table. I can't deny my opinion of him as a man. Since we're, we're throwing everything on the table right here, right now, and earlier it was talked about that Minnie brought up that perhaps Moreland had said something about one of the twins. Because who, who was he talking to? He said after I had an RB that I looked good, that if I was single that he would try to holler at me. Chilling, well, for real. I don't even know where they came. That's the first time I heard of it. If, if money haven't confronted him yet, she needs to confront him with it. And money, I'm telling you straight, if you don't deal with the trash now, sooner or later, it's going to start stinking. So deal with what might be well, trash. I wouldn't even deal with it. Like, real you, well, talk, y'all know not. I'm crazy in terms of But here, money, hold up. 
If, if, if Marlon liked to chase women on the side, are you ready to deal with the challenges that he may bring to the table? Man, look, marriage may not be the best thing for Marlon. Sometimes we have to release what we personally want for the betterment of the next person. I might not agree with what you have to say. You may not like what I say, but why should I feed this fire? They trying to make it more than what it is. I'm going to talk to him. There you go. It's great to have you hey, here today. It was great meeting you. It was great talking to you. Great game. meeting you. Bye. OK, Bye. thanks. Bye-bye. You know, some of our ladies may have found love, and others are, meanwhile, out there hitting the dating scene. Let's take a look and see if I'm sparks were flying or if it's back to the drawing board. It's like men everywhere, from left to right. I feel like a kid in a candy store. Hey, hey. I want to start dating. Oh. I need a nice guy. So I'm trying to put myself out there to meet new people. I have two goals for tonight. Have fun with my girl, Miss Minnie, and get some digits, baby. Look at me now, I'm just sitting here talking to Miss Minnie. <laughs> Say, friends, and your woman come home from work, how would you make her be more relaxed? You no, know, Moscato, I know a lot of people oh, like Moscato. I got an arm looking tired. Keep going, no stop. Get up, Dungy. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan and I have our issues. But deep down, I know I have a good man. <laughs> <laughs> Wood and I have a complicated relationship. It's been on again, off again over the past year. So you want a second chance? Yeah. But I'm number one priority now. Yeah. OK. With everything going on with Emily, I think it's best for me to go back to Texas. Hey, I just got here. I don't think I can just hop up and leave. What is the status of you and Wooda's relationship? I mean, there's still always something for us to work on, and we're getting to that point. But now we're just happy, and we're a whole family. Did he want to leave Atlanta? He didn't want to leave, but he didn't want to tear the family apart. We all went back to Texas. Amanda, you and Jordan seem very happy. How are yes, they? Yes, we are very happy. He loves me for me, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Wedding bells in the future? I hope so, but later, not right now. But it looks like you all are having fun. Yeah, I love him a lot. You do? Yes. Mini and Juicy. What is the, let's get an update on you. You seem to find some potential boyfriends. When I went speed dating with Juicy, mm -hmm. I met this guy named Gary, and he's just now been ordained to be a minister. A pastor? A <laughs> pastor. Juicy, let's talk about your speed dating. How'd that go? <laughs> and what were the results? I met a friend. His name is Tim. and. He is a good friend. What does that mean? Is that Are you single? Good Are you... Oh, yes, I'm single. OK. But I'm you do very it... happy. You're single with a good friend. Name Tim. Friend tell him. Speaking of friends, Minnie and Money were once the best of friends. But has that changed? Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Little Women Atlanta season two reunion. I'm your host, Kevin Frazier. Minnie and Money were once the best of friends, but this season, oh, there was no love lost between them. Let's take a look. How many months were you when you lost the baby? I was three months. I don't think that's what happened. People that I call my family think that I'm lying. What are you doing? Girl, that is so pretty. Oh my God, like, so Juicy, pretty. would you be my maid of honor? I feel sorry for Minnie when she was crying. I just feel like I'm losing my best friend. We're not best friends. Remember, I am your maid of honor. Juicy is rubbing that maid of honor in my face. You should be thinking about that when you tell me lies. I don't give two rats OK, ass. bye. I I'm don't. Gone. I don't want to be a part of the ghetto wedding. I'm exhausted with this situation. Maybe I'll go ahead and reach out to him. It wouldn't be right to get married and not have you there. So will you be co-maid of honor? Yes, honey. Cheers. Mm. So right now, she's co-maid of honor. Money, is she, is she in or out? No, to me, she out. I'm good with the one maid of honor that I have. So I'm Gucci. Will she be invited to your wedding? Yeah. I give her an invitation, she will come. Are you sorry, Minnie, that it came to this? If she want to have her maid of honor, I'm not going to lose my sleep over. 
Do you have a problem with Juicy and money, friendship? I don't have a problem with it. I just feel like it's fake. Well, you know what? You can say what you want to say. We know our relationship is not fake. And say you don't care about it, but you sit up there and cry when she didn't ask you to be the maid of honor the first time. I did not cry, sweetie. Yes, you did no, have I a problem. Didn't. Well, no, I, I, didn't. Guess, I guess no, I guess another lie been told. Walter, no, you did go, you did lie. go and try to mend the bridge yeah. with money, and then you were excited. With me and money made up and made our friendship back together, I wouldn't give a damn if she would have said, Minnie, hold my train walking down the aisle. I wouldn't give two because that's what friends are for. Then why would you come in here and tonight have such anger towards her? Hurt people hurt people. Like, that's the, my saying. When I get hurt, I lash out. Like, I'm big on moving forward. But I can't with those two. But in the other time, I had already apologized when we moved forward. And then, like, tonight, like, you know, your mama telling me I can't talk where you, it's good. And it's like, wow, but you understood the struggle. And then, like, I felt attacked. And I still tried to be on my grown woman because I understand that's your mom. And I know my mom be flipping over in her grave if she know I'm up here still being disrespectful, even though I'm, fi I'm being attacked. She'll still want me to sit there and, and hold it down. But yet, I mean, it's like, I'm mad because I'm trying to keep it together. I'm going. People think I'm the one that's crazy. But right now, I can stay here and say, man, I'm proud of myself because I sat here and I chill. I want to pop off. But it took all of me to sit here and just, you know what, be a boss bitch one night. Just be a boss bitch. And I sat there and I chill and I let y'all get it out. But that stuff hurt, though. I think at this point, we should move on. You know, while Money was questioning Minnie about her pregnancy, Minnie had a few questions of her own about Money. Watch. What type of dwarf is Money? I'm Akon. We're also Akon, also. Akon rules. <laughs> this is crazy. How can Money not know if she's a dwarf? When we take pictures, you like the Shaquille O'Neal of us. Like, you ain't even no little person. So I have to have a full endorsement from time with y'all? You made me feel like I don't fit in. Everybody should know what type of little person they are. What if the test come back and it says that you're not a little person? The test results say I have NPR2. It's a rare dwarfism. I'm Thank proud that you, you man. And got tested. Hearing many say she's proud of me for sharing my results, it feels good. Case closed. For you. I be feeling like the woman when I walk <laughs> through. <laughs> Why'd you wait so long to get tested? I always knew I was little, but I didn't know about being a dwarf or anything. Mm -hmm. It was just like live with it because I'm the only one in my family that's like this height. So I was just was told to adjust to it, and that's what I did. But even if my mom tested me when I was young, it wouldn't matter because the type I have was not discovered to 2013. So with that being said, I, would, I wouldn't have known, but I know now, so I can just move forward. Tanya from Chattanooga, Tennessee asks, Minnie, why did you go in so hard on someone else's personal health when you wouldn't and couldn't give any personal details on your pregnancy? It wasn't the fact that I was going hard on her about it. I just felt like she needed to find out if she even had, you know, a drawer fest. Then could you be mad at her for asking or asking for so many details about your pregnancy? I didn't go as hard as they did on me. Oh, my God. I really didn't. You did. You did go hard on me. No. You told me I couldn't be in the group. Juicy, what do you think of that? Do you feel it's a little hypocritical? Very. Yeah, I mean, why can many question money, but they can't question her? Girl, nobody can question her. You can't question her. You gonna get at all. She knew all the questions. You question her. Yeah, shut the hell up. Don't preach something if you can't live by it. Whatever. Do you feel like since you showed your paperwork, she should show you her paperwork? I mean, I already asked her for it. I got a take. I don't need her mama to come back out here. Y'all please leave. Leave my mama out of it. All right. I ain't trying to be nothing. Before that plane's back up. 
But I had my paperwork. Keep my mama but I had the paperwork. Keep but I my mama say your mama. out your mouth. You know what, I think this really is a good time to take a break. But when we returned, it was the boat party that started out as smooth sailing, but things quickly got out of control. We'll be joined by the infamous Drummond twins when we come back. Welcome back to the Little Women Atlanta reunion show. I'm Kevin Frazier, and uh, you know, they don't call them the drama twins for nothing. Charity and Hope came on the scene and certainly left a lasting impression with all the ladies. Today I'm meeting up with two of my friends, Charity and Hope. They're sisters and they're twins. We have this party coming up on a boat. A uh, boat party? Talk to me about the food stand. Man, I'll push off y'all damn boat. I met people like you. You turned up on the wrong mother get your up. Get off me, Morgan. I feel like money was attacked. She been straight hood. But y'all hood too. Leave the drama way back there at the door. I need to hear a party from you from my sister. Oh, well, but I'm good. Oh, no, oh, let me be first. Oh, wait, money. wait a minute. Oh, money. Y'all better get the out of here. Y'all came to the birthday party to get up back? I don't know if you come hood, she's gonna come gangster. I didn't know what she was coming, so I just had to fit it up. She loose. And I never want to see those little <laughs> drama twins again. Why would she bring them to his third birthday? Like, he'll right. never get that back. Well, you've seen them, and now here they are. Charity and Hope, please join us. Are you serious? Ladies, welcome. Michael. Let me just ask you right off the bat. You stirred up a lot of stuff this season. Yeah, we did. Why? It wasn't intentional. But it, hey, it happened. It happened. Let's start with the food stamp story that you referenced about money. Because you had to know it was going to cause a problem if you brought it up. Mm hmm mm hmm Why was it your business? Were you were you concerned about where your tax dollars were going? Well, we was living there. It was a, it was in the streets. Her name was always everywhere. And I'm thinking, damn, Hope, that wasn't right. Money, you really got upset when they brought that up. Why? Because I felt it was disres you know, it was disrespectful. First, I don't, I don't even know them. You know, they were juicy friends. These are your friends? They were my friends. If you want to be concerned about something, you just don't blurt it out in front of everybody. Look, when I said that, I saw your face. And your face had a look like, damn. And so, no, it was not a place to bring it up. And I have apologized. I don't know how many times I went to this lady to apologize, and nobody won't let it go. By the time you said, I'm sorry, baby, that bomb had already well, been. I boom, know, boom, and boom. I know. And you just have to take it. Let me ask you this. You made a mistake. And then at the birthday party, you made yet another mistake. I didn't want to invite y'all at all, but you see, tucked me into it. And you guys come there, and it's like you're coming for her again. When we walked in and we sat down, the first thing you said was, why are y'all here? Well, I wanted to know because she told me y'all were coming with kids. You were the first one to throw a plate or a drink. I mean, I knocked stuff over, but y'all actually was throwing, like, the, the, the can and the cups was was flying, you know what I'm saying? So it's You weren't like... aiming at her, you were aiming for anybody exactly. that was sitting at the table and ruined his whole cake. That's disrespectful as We apologize over and over but and you know over what? again. And you guys keep on bringing it up and making... Cause you I can't apologize. It's a three year old party. Party. Cause Cause every... 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 Cause Birthday party, you can apologize to them all you want. You can't apologize to my nephew. Sit down. Why? She ain't apologizing apologies when you you say I'm sorry and then you move forward, you stop and you move. Each time it was something else, and y'all come with some intentions now to destroy. I don't understand. Our intent was to go to that birthday party. But then afterwards, and you said not. your intentions were to get at her. Yeah. You changed it. When y'all met with Juicy, that you was. asked them, was it was it an intention to come to that birthday party to save yeah. some money? And y'all said yes. Y'all got to understand, I'm I'm trying to get there, but that kind of stuff get under my skin. For real. Yeah, I, I feel provoked. Right you know what? It, it's done. It's done. Okay. But her three-year-old child is still going to remember his birthday party like, being Like, I have born. to describe to him why he couldn't take home his cake. Because two immature mother <laughs> threw at his party trying to come and apologize to another grown-ass woman when they couldn't do it somewhere else. 
but y'all had to do it there. And y'all had intentions. Kept making comments to each other. Y'all lucky as I wasn't there. You're not finna at my nephew's party like that. We apologize. I don't know what else I can do. We don't want you to do nothing. We want you to get up and walk down them stairs and do shit. That's what I want. Hope and Charity, are you a little embarrassed by that behavior? No. You're not embarrassed by your See? behavior? You know That's what? kind what? of what I'm about. We got overheated, yes, true enough. Things happen. But you know what? Not even accepting the apology show how low you are on. Look, who, who's she talking to, man? I'm tired of this disrespectful ass. Hey, 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 you know what? Not even accepting the apology and then still calling people out their name and show how low you are on. Oh, who who's she talking to, man? I'm tired of oh, this disrespect. Oh, hey, ah, what are you not doing? Doing? These bitches will get monetized in here. They want to see low. Oh, my God. I can go low. I'm sick of coming off I, and everything. I can go low. Come on. They keep You've on done playing, such a good man. job of copying and They call. keep on crossing their legs talking You've done such a good I'm job. Just saying, for oh, real. You know what? <laughs> Let's just stop. Let's it stop. ain't worth the money. For real. It's not worth it. Juicy, is there something you want to say to your friends? I say it all I can say. You keep coming into the group, you say you are going to be nice. And every time it gets worse. And so I'm I'm on the same page. Goodbye. Good charity and hope, thank you for, for coming here today. Thank you for trying to apologize. And thank you for never coming back. All right, let's switch gears. You know, whether these ladies are hitting the town in Myrtle Beach for bike week or um, just hanging out on the couch with a bottle of wine, they have been a little spicy, but this season they showed us they are hot, heated, and horny. the craziest place y'all done had sex? Outside on a trampoline. <laughs> I was at this cookout. I had on a dress, and I was just like, hey, hey. What were the people at? <laughs> the <laughs> around. Oh, Welcome to Juicy Talk, my very first sex talk radio show. How do I make a woman He has to let his fingers do the walking and let the tongue do the talking. All right, then. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Um, you ladies certainly didn't hold back. You know, Juicy, when it comes to sex, apparently you're an expert, right? Of course. I just want people to be comfortable in their own skin. Sex is not something you should be scared to talk about, you know? And especially with us. By us being little people, a lot of people are curious. Yeah, yeah they are, I'm sure, Very I'm sure. Good. And they always come up to us and be like, I wonder how it is having sex with Better, you. that's the answer, then, better. Then everyone's like, oh my god, you're always my fantasy. Yeah, right. Right. yeah Or my like, fetish. When, when does curious become like a fetish or does it cross a line? When they tell me, like I had a person tell me, um, I just want to flip you up in yeah, the air. Yeah, yeah. Well, I said, come oh, on. And I'm like, I'm <laughs> thick as hell, so you're not going to do too much flipping. If he can pick you up and flip you up and down, that means he's big and strong, honey. <laughs> come on, daddy. If you think you can do it, here I am. <laughs> oh, damn. See? There she go. And this is just a, a kind of a question of curiosity. You all are with, like to be with average sized men yes. and not yes. any, not little men. Why not? My first child is just a little person. It's much less satisfying, let's put it like that. <laughs> hey, well, she sums it up for us. Okay. I like being able to be picked up. I like being able to be flipped up, all that stuff. People are so concerned, especially average girls. When average girl sees us dating average guys, they be like, ew, like, fuck. that's dating a, a, a kid yeah. or whatever. Like, the hell? Why is this a jealous ass bitch? Right. And I feel like being with an average sized man, mm -hmm. it feels more secure. Like you, when you walking into a room and you got this tall man, yes, and you I just like, like walking in, you be like, yes, bitches, he's mine. Oh, oh mine right there. Right, all, <laughs> all of, of it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to the next <laughs> segment. Oh. Getting a little hot in here. Um, I, you know, they say everything is bigger in Texas, and with their big hats, big hair, big attitudes, and yes, even their big mouths, 
which me, a new group of little women who are taking over the Lone Star State. Here's a preview of the exciting new series, Little Women Dallas. Let's take a look. Are you ready to party tonight? Everything's bigger in Texas but us. Austin's the clown of the group who keeps us all laughing. Personally, I am a goofball. Does that remind you of your hangover? Uh, Amanda, she's a little badass. I'm definitely an adrenaline junkie and I'm pretty much up for anything. I can squat 200 pounds, so I think I can do this. Good things come with small packages, right? Kaylee is owning her single dating life. She loves men. I just make the party go from zero to 100. I think she likes to flirt, does she? <laughs> Tiffany's the angel on my shoulder. Simmer down. Oh, dude, shut the up. Tiffany can definitely be the life of the party. I'm always the life of the party. Bree and I recently moved back to Dallas from Atlanta. Amanda, she wants to ride a bull. Like the mechanical bull? Yeah. He looks pissed. Yeah. Do you think you and Emily are ever going to get back into twerking again? I don't know. I hope so. so you're trying to be left cheek, right cheek again? Yeah, since I'm back here, now we can reunite. I don't think I want to do that kind of stuff anymore. You're telling me that you're my best friend, and you went and told everybody. I'm just trying to look out for you. I got to the point where I wanted to kill myself because I'm little. You should be able to fit in, especially when we're all here together. Oh, so you guys are my family, and I would never do anything to hurt you. You think every guy I talk to is a freaking scumbag. Because of the people that you choose. No, it's because I'm little and you think every person I date is going to use me. And it's not. Like, let me be happy. It's time for you to move out. How would you feel? You put yourself How in would you feel? Shut the f up. Come on. Yeah, get your ass out. It's time to go. All right. So you'll be moving on to that show. Yes. These ladies will be back for season three of Atlanta. Yes. Right? Yes. Tell us a little bit about the show and how it was the show. The girls in Dallas are definitely young. They're younger than us. They are not afraid to speak their mind. And they say anything and everything. Um, it's definitely different being around all them. I'm looking forward to the premiere of Little Women Dallas. It looks like it's going to be crazy. Uh, it also looks like a lot of fun. A new city with some new women to meet, so it will be a blast. Don't go anywhere. Up next, we're going to wrap it up for the night. You know, at the end of the day, you all do have an affection for each other. It's been an amazing season, and I want to give you ladies a chance to kind of wrap up the whole season. Well, can I go first? Are you sure Since can? I love to talk. I love you guys. Y'all been you know, amazing. We go through our ups and downs, but you know, y'all still my friends. So I brought a little gift for everyone. Oh. Can you help me get, please? Okay. Pass it all the way down, all the way down. All the way. Everybody got one. one. I'm sorry, they're kind of flat. Can we open it? Wait, can we open it? Ooh, they got candy. They got candy. Yeah. Did everybody get the same thing? Um, Did y'all get I better candy? Why she throw her back? What's wrong, Minnie? This bitch is trying me. Oh, Why? Lord, we back to that. What happened? Why? What was in your bag? What was in your bag? The <laughs> black balloon that was at my baby shower. What's that mean? I wasn't there while y'all making that face. What does that mean? Well, we bought the balloon for her, so hey. Juicy, why would you do that? That's like, that's because we that said amazing. if she was not pregnant, we were going to give her a black balloon. And she gave everything back, didn't say thank you, no appreciation. So that's the reason why I did it. That is f***ed up. I want to start fighting. I want to give a That lets you further know that she's a hoarder. Because if you keep for that long, you a bitter old bitch that want to be me. I want to be you? Yes, you do. OK. You can go ahead and believe that. So this is what you gave? Yes. Uh, Juicy, why? I literally, we put our hearts and soul in everything. And for not, for to feel unappreciated, that hurts more than anything. But then it's always, let's move forward, let's move forward. And you can't move forward if you want to continue to do the same thing that you continue to do. We talk about it, we apologize, but then you continue to do the same stuff. Minnie, 
Why'd you just take off all your jewelry? Because, bitch, you a bitter old ass bitch and get a life. You need to get a life with your pissy ass. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, you can't do them. Hey, you talking about you the queen of Atlanta? Bitch, look at your ass. Hungry, you. hungry, hippo looking ass. Get some clothes that can fit your fat ass. <laughs> and get some heels. Stop playing with Aubrey's baby heels. Because you wear heels, that don't make you a woman. Shut the f up. That's what don't you make do. You, a woman. you shut the f up and kiss my ass. Minnie, can you take a seat, please? Atlanta is small, but let me stop, because that bitch got the police on speed dial. I forgot. All right, let's stop there. And I'm sorry that it had to end this way and that you feel this way. Minnie, are you OK? No, I'm not OK. No. All right, thank you, ladies. Um, this show was interesting. It had its moments, but it was really fun to sit down and talk with you. Congratulations on a great season two, and of course, look forward to seeing you again for season three. And uh, thank you for watching. Ladies, I think you're, you're good. We're done? Can I have my candy bag? Right. You guys Thanks, guys. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm ready to take this thong out of my ass. All the way So you guys head upstairs? I thought everything was good. I did too. She was sitting up there talking to me after we done cussed each other out. But then you want to give everybody a gift, which was bull. Give me a gift. I'm looking. And it's the damn balloon from the baby shower. That tell you what type of person you are. What type of bitter. She's a bully, straight up bully. I'm glad he was there to block that candle, because, honey, a black balloon make you that upset when you got to throw a candle? Kind of is that? I ain't never seen a grown woman behave like this. I don't think I was being shady. I'm just saying, this balloon was bought for you, so you need to take this balloon. And I sure did, and saved it. I saved your life, because I could aim at your head. Excuse me, Aubrey, but I could. I thought you were about to fire her. No, because she's quick to call the police. I got too much to lose. If you're going to uh, continue to throw shade, but you can't take it, what they say, if it's too hot in the kitchen, get out. I'd be in my part. Yeah. I should have brought the rest of the baby blocks. I'm over my height with the BS, with her. Hey, maybe we can splash it later in the future. She can go to hell with gasoline draws. I don't care. Now then, we finna plan this bomb-ass wedding. Okay. She's dead to me now. Dead.